believe that we have a sacred obligation to equip those we send to war and care for those and their family when they come home. My administration is providing assistance in job training, housing, and now helping lower-income veterans get VA care debt-free. And our troops in Iraq have faced in Afghanistan have faced many dangers, one being stationed at bases breathing in toxic smoke from burn pits. Many of you have been there. I've been in and out of Iraq and Afghanistan over 40 times. These burn pits that incinerate waste, the waste of war, medical and hazards material, jet fuel, and so much more. And they come home, many of the world's fittest and best trained warriors in the world, never the same. Headaches, numbness, dizziness, a cancer that would put them in a flag draped coffin. I know. One of those one of those soldiers was my son, Major Bo Biden. I don't know for sure if the burn pit that he lived near, that his hooch was near in Iraq and earlier than that in Kosovo, is the cause of his brain cancer and the disease of so many other troops. But I am committed to find out everything we can, committed to military families like Danielle Robinson from Ohio, the widow of Sergeant First Class Heath Robinson. He was born a soldier, Army National Guard, combat medic in Kosovo and Iraq, stationed near Baghdad just yards from burn pits the size of football fields. Danielle is here with us tonight. They love going to Ohio State football games. And they love building Legos with their daughter. But cancer from prolonged exposure to burn pits ravaged Heath's lungs and body. Danielle says Heath was a fighter to the very end. He didn't know how to stop fighting, and neither did she. Through her pain, she found purpose to demand that we do better. Tonight, Danielle, we are going to do better. The VA. The VA is pioneering new ways of linking toxic exposure to disease, already helping more veterans get benefits. And tonight, I'm announcing we're expanding eligibility to veterans suffering from nine respiratory cancers. I'm also calling on Congress to pass a law to make sure veterans devastated by toxic exposure in Iraq and Afghanistan finally get the benefits and the comprehensive health care they deserve. <laughs> 